On paper, you might wonder whether the HEV full hybrid version of Kia's Sportage SUV is the best choice to make from the Sportage lineup. But in practice, this variant proves to be a very efficient real world all round choice, with eager performance matched to the usual attributes of the current Sportage striking looks, practicality, and a long warranty. If you're not quite ready yet to plug your car in, then the chances are that you want a hybrid of some sort. And it's equally likely that you want some sort of SUV. If that needs to be one of the mid-sized family-shaped sort, then here's a model that needs to be somewhere on your shopping list, the full hybrid HEV version of Kia's Sportage. The full hybrid HEV terminology is important here because Kia also offers this car in mild hybrid guise, where it's cheaper, and in plug-in hybrid form, where it's predictably pricier. All these various flavours of 1.6-litre petrol turbo engine are directly shared with this Kia's Hyundai Motor Group close cousin, the similarly priced Hyundai Tucson. But this Kia has a very different visual vibe. Is it the family SUV hybrid for you? Well, you'll need the usual comprehensive car and driving road test to find out. All Sportage models these days are powered by some sort of 1.6 litre turbo petrol four cylinder unit, but in very different flavours. The 148 brake horsepower output offered by the mild hybrid version of this power plant rises to 178 brake horsepower with this HEV hybrid version, which combined with a tiny 1.49 kilowatt hour battery pack and a 44.2 kilowatt electric motor plays a major part in a very useful total power output of 227 brake horsepower. Weight and aerodynamics though combine to keep performance relatively modest. The rest to 62 mile an hour sprint occupies 7.7 seconds in the front driven model and maximum speed is 120 miles an hour. There are eco and sport drive modes and with top spec trim you can also pay extra for the brand's all wheel drive 4x4 drivetrain. In all its guises this Sportage is superbly refined particularly around town where the electric motor frequently and seamlessly kicks in to supplant the engine. Only when you push on around twisty roads beyond the city limits will you begin to feel the mandatory six-speed auto gearbox chase itself a bit, and at this point, you might find the engine's usual calm disrupted somewhat. Like its rivals, this Sportage is never likely to feel particularly fun or entertaining. The steering is light and relatively feelless, though that's good in town. But there's plenty of cornering grip, it's wieldy on urban roads, easy to park and a quiet highway cruiser with the usual semi-autonomous driving tools available to take the strain out of long trips. Like the all-electric EV6, this Mark V Sportage has been designed under Kia's opposite United ethos, which you could guess from a glance at the visual elements the two models share. The boomerang style headlights, swollen rear arches, the concave tailgate shaping and the prominent spoiler. Europe gets a short wheelbase version of this model and won't be offered the longer version of this design available to other world markets. Both variants sitting on the same N3 platform that undergirds this car's close cousin, the identically engineered Hyundai Tucson. Shared parentage with the EV6 is also evident inside, where the dashboard gets a gently curved display incorporating two 12.3-inch digital screens. Other key controls are operated via a row of multimedia haptic buttons, which can change function depending on drive mode selection. Though the European Sportage is 85mm shorter than the long wheelbase global model, it's 30mm longer than the previous generation design, and that frees up 10mm more wheelbase length for a couple of adults to sit comfortably in the rear, three at a pinch. 
The boot capacity is only fractionally down on the mild hybrid model, rated here at 587 litres. Flatten the rear bench and that figure rises to 1,776 litres. Prices for this full hybrid model start from around £35,000 and range up to around £40,000 in front-driven form. There are three trim levels, GT Line, which is what we have here, then mid-range 3 and top GT Line S. That latter top version also available in all-wheel drive form for an extra £1,500. On all models, auto transmission's mandatory. For the front-driven variants, think in terms of a £2,000 premium over the equivalent 148 brake horsepower mild hybrid version. At the time of our review, the plug-in hybrid version was priced from £40,500. Connectivity is a feature of all Mark V Sportage models, not only with the large 12.3-inch cabin screens, both for the instrument cluster and the centre stat monitor, but also with telematics. The brand offers its Kia Connect smartphone app, which allows customers to connect remotely with their cars. And a clever user profile transfer feature enables users to back up their in-vehicle Kia Connect preferences via the cloud and transfer settings from one vehicle to the next. With top GT Line S spec, you also get an upgraded Harman Kardon sound system. This Kia is fitted with a wide array of advanced driver assistance system technology, what Kia calls DriveWise features. There's a forward collision avoidance assist system with junction turning that should help you avoid collisions at junctions and highway driving assist that helps you maintain a set distance to the car in front and keeps this Kia in the middle of its lane. This Sportage can also offer blind spot assistance and a navigation-based cruise control system that automatically reduces speed for the corners. At the top of the range, there's even a remote smart parking assist system that can park the car for you into tight spaces while you stand outside it, controlling things from the key fob. Very neat. The combined cycle fuel return for this Sportage HEV hybrid is quoted at 49.6 mpg on the combined cycle and 129 grams per kilometre of CO2. Given the price premium here, we'd hope for a bit more gain over the figures of the cheaper mild hybrid version, 43.5 mpg and 147 grams per kilometre, but you are getting much more performance and a regular real-world return of around 40 mpg is easily possible which we never got anywhere near in the mild hybrid. Best of all, because of the extra performance, you can leave this Sportage HEV in its most frugal eco drive mode nearly all the time without the car feeling slothful, as it would do if you did the same thing in the mild hybrid. Official stats don't always tell the full story and they don't here, but if you want all of them, we'll tell you that the larger wheels of top GT Line S trim drop the front-driven version CO2 reading to 132 grams per kilometer, which falls again to 146 grams per kilometer in a GT Line S all-wheel drive model. As usual with the Kia, there's a seven-year or 100,000-mile warranty, which, since it can be passed from owner to owner, should help the impressively strong residual values. You might want to note that roadside assistance cover is limited to one year, but you do get a long 12-year bodywork warranty. Maintenance costs can be kept down by opting for Kia's Care 3 or Care 3 Plus package, which offer a fixed cost and inflation-proof servicing plan for the first three or five years, something which can also be passed on to subsequent owners. Insurance is rated at groups 24E to 26E and service intervals are every year or 10,000 miles, whichever comes sooner. In some ways, this HEV hybrid variant might not initially be your first choice 
from the Sportage range. On paper, it isn't actually that much more frugal than the much cheaper mild hybrid derivative. And it's not actually an enormous amount cheaper than the plug-in hybrid version that would give you a much lower tax rating. For the real world though, this test has left us with the suspicion that day-to-day, -day, as an all-round ownership proposition, this HEV Sportage might turn out to be a better bet than either of its range stablemates. We've got closer to the quoted efficiency figures than seem possible with either the mild hybrid or the plug-in versions. And the drivetrain is particularly refined, torquey and smooth. Ultimately, it's quite an appealing combination. If you like the looks, you'll just have to decide whether it's appealing enough to justify the asking price. Music